Hey, my name is Robert Halleck and I run technical marketing at AMD and behind me we have an interesting demo for what we call our Polaris architecture, which is our 2016 graphics architecture for both notebook and desktop PCs. So what we have here side by side is a GeForce GTX 950 on the left versus a product based on the Polaris architecture on the right. Both of these systems are identically configured except for the graphics card and we've tried to make the power consumption and the thermal profiles be very similar to what a user might find in a notebook. So on both of these systems we're running Star Wars Battlefront at 1920 by 1080 resolution. They're both locked at 60 frames per second so they're maxing out the game and we're using the high quality graphics preset. Down below, we have two power meters that are tracking the power consumption of both systems, the entire system. If I run both of these systems side by side at 60 FPS, 1080p, high quality, the GeForce GTX system consumes 140 to 150 watts of power. In contrast, for the same performance, we can do it on the Polaris architecture in 80 to 90 watts of power. So uh, approximately half or 80% of the power consumption for exactly, 80% uh, less power consumption for exactly the same performance. So a couple things that we've done to achieve those power saving results. The first thing is we switched to 14 nanometer FinFET for Polaris on that chip behind me. Uh, that is the state of the art manufacturing technology for graphics chips. It's incredibly power efficient and on top of that, we've also updated the Graphics Core Next architecture inside the graphics chip. So that's our fourth generation Graphics Core. And that is our implementation of the FinFET process. And you add those two things together with new power savings technologies and you get a significantly more power efficient graphics chip. This is extremely important for, say, a notebook configuration where the amount of performance you can produce versus the amount of power you consume is extremely important. Notebooks are very performance and power and uh, thermally sensitive environments. Uh, so for us to essentially be able to offer double the performance we were last generation with the same amount of power consumption, we're really excited about what that means for both desktop and mobile PCs.